In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your columns on Facebook to look at your data effectively. Let's go. I work hard every motherfucking What's up guys, you already know I'm the king and in this one, like I just mentioned, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up your columns, what metrics to look at so that you can actually manage your ad sets effectively and make more money. But before I dive into that, as you guys know, I give away one free call every single video and the winner of this one is Humble B. I think it's a cool play on words. So anyways, Humble B, just go to the first link in the description. It's gonna be my Instagram. Send me a DM, we'll Skype, I'll look at your store, help you find products and we'll go from there. And if you wanna be the one to win a call next video, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. It's gonna be my Instagram and DM me your favorite quote. And I'm gonna pick one of the quotes that you guys send me and you will be one of the consulting call winners for next video. And last thing I wanna mention before I show you guys how to set up your columns is the giveaway away this month. So this month in February, anyone who joins the Royal Council, I'm going to put into a huge giveaway and choose one person to fly them out to me, do an in-person mentorship, all expenses paid, and basically help you with everything you need to know to be very successful with dropshipping. I've only done this type of competition once before, and the person that I flew out last time, his name was Cody. It was awesome because he hadn't really ever had success previous to us meeting, but after we met, he hit his first thousand dollar day within just a couple of days. So that's exactly what you can expect. Anyways, you can see more about the Royal Council in the second link in the description. So go check that out and let's just dive into these columns. All right, so this is gonna go by very quickly just because I want it to be short and straight to the point. And so I pulled up my sixth ad account right here. I like to have multiple ad accounts. So if you guys don't have multiple ad accounts, you definitely need them. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys how to make more of them later on. But anyways, this is a fresh ad account. I've never done anything in here. And these are the default columns here. And so what you want to do, because you see on here that it says delivery, ad set name, like budget, last significant edit, reach, like most of these things are completely irrelevant, but most of you guys are still looking at them. So that's what I'm here to fix. So first things first, you want to go up here to columns right here and then click customize columns. And then this entire section is going to come up to where you can, you can customize your columns. You can search anything up here you want. Uh, it's taking a second to load, but I mean, there's so many things you can look at here. Like, <laughs> I mean, so many things, right? And so I, I can see how this is confusing for a lot of you guys. But anyways, first thing you want to do is you want to exit out all of these. So I'm going to X off most of these really quickly. So I'm going to exit off errors. I'm going to do delivery, add to name. Yeah, exit that one. I'm going to leave budget. I'm going to exit off last significant edit. Exit that one, exit that one, that one, that one. I'm gonna leave amount spent and then I'm gonna exit off the rest. So out of all of those, the only ones we kept was budget and amount spent. So those will, those will be the ones that we start with. And so in previous videos, you've probably heard me mention that the main metrics that I look at are the cost per click, how many clicks you're getting, the CPM, the ROAS and things like that. So let's, let's just dive in. I'm gonna show you what to search, what to add in and what order to put them in. So right after amount spent, let's just do link clicks. So just type in link clicks right here and you can just click link clicks, boom, that'll go right there. And the next one's gonna be cost per unique link click and it's actually right here, we don't have to search anything else. And you always wanna do unique link click because someone could come through and click the link five times and it's gonna skew your data, right? And so do cost per unique link click and so that's the one you want next. So budget, amount spent, link clicks and cost per unique link click. Next is gonna be CPM, which is a cost per 1,000 impressions. Basically, how much it costs to show your ad to 1,000 people. So type in CPM and then it'll come up right here. So simple as that. The next one we're gonna do is actually multiple. So just search up purchase and then I'll show you what to do with this right here. So you wanna click total purchase row as, you wanna click total purchases, you wanna click purchase value and then uh, purchase cost right here, right? So those, all of those right there, not particularly in that order. I'll show you guys how to order them in a second. But over here, you also wanna uncheck these little boxes, otherwise you'll have a lot of little column segments that you didn't want. So you wanna uncheck these little boxes that it brings up with it. And the order that you want these in is first, you wanna do cost per purchase right after CPM, and then purchases, and then purchase row ads, and then purchase conversion value. So this is exactly how you want it laid out. So right, right here, you always wanna do save as preset. If you don't save as preset, then you're gonna to have to do it every single time. So just click save as preset, and then you can call it king or however and then click apply. Here it is right here, and another reason that I really like this is because it fits perfectly on your screen. Well, of course, I do have a bigger screen, so it might not fit perfectly on yours, but I don't have to scroll left or right or anything like that, but it's it just perfectly fits. But anyways, budget, amount spent, link clicks, cost per click, CPM, cost per purchase, purchases, whoop, 
purchases, purchase ROAS, and purchase conversion value. All of these things are really the only things that I look to look at in terms of metrics. Just because the cost per click and the CPM tells you how your ad is doing, how your targeting is doing, and then of course your ROAS is telling you, well, how successful the product is, how successful people are converting and things like that. And based off of these metrics, you know everything you need to know essentially to be successful or tweak something or however. So honestly, that's it guys. I just wanna show you a really quick video on how to set up your columns because it's so simple, but it's very, very effective. It'll help you guys a ton when looking at your ad sets and managing your data and scaling and all of that stuff. So make sure to go set up your columns this way. Of course, if you guys have any questions about this, just leave them down in the comment section below. I will respond to comments within the first hour to two hours of the video being posted. But anyways, guys, that's all for this video. It's very simple and straightforward. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. The king is out. And as far as I can see, I just need privacy. Plus a whole lot of tree, fuck all this modesty. I just need space to do me, get away what they're trying to see. A Stella Maxwell right beside of me. A Ferrari, I'm buying three. A closet of Saint Laurent, get what I want when I want, cause this hunger is driving me, yeah.